Hey boys and girls, it's me. I just wanted to say hi. I want to let you know that I'm up at the school and me and the teachers are talking about different ways we can teach you while you're at home. And so the one thing I started thinking about is that I don't really think we're going to continue with the shiny objects lesson until y'all come back. So I thought there might be something more appropriate for the time that we're going through. So things are kind of up in the air right now. We don't really know what's going on. You might be feeling a lot of emotions. You might be scared. You might be okay. You might be having fun. You might be bored. So we're all going through different feelings. So what I've discovered as I've lived my life is that we're going to go through a lot of different times. And this is a time right now where I think that you might be feeling a lot of different feelings. So what I do when I'm feeling sad or happy or um, confused, I try to find music that inspires me. Maybe if I'm sad, I try to find a song where someone is going through the same feeling as me. Or if I'm feeling sad, I might try to find a song that makes me feel happy and cheers me up. If I'm feeling scared and anxious, I try to find a song that helps calm me down or make me feel better, like everything's going to be okay. Um, and I know y'all have your own music ideas, and I don't know if you remember, but I tried to get it to where we could listen to music in class, your own personal music. Um, didn't really work out, that's okay, but the reason I did that was because in my life, music is my biggest inspiration. If, if I'm drawing and I'm all by myself, I'll turn my music up real loud, and that's what sets the fire under my feet to start working. So I'm not going to give you a project quite yet. I just want you to start thinking about music. I want you to find a few different songs that you really like, either a song that makes you super happy or a song that makes you feel like you're not alone, like someone else is out there feeling the same thing you're feeling. I want you to listen to that song or all those songs, and I want you to listen to the lyrics and exactly what the music is saying. And I want you to pick out um, maybe a sentence or a phrase or something in that song that really grabs you. Like my favorite songs that I love, there's always some lyric in it that it's the one lyric I remember when I'm having a hard time or when I need some pep. So write some lyrics down. Think of some things that inspire you in music, and we're going to be doing something with that here later. I'm going to make another video and put it on this blog, and in the video, I'm not going to be at school. I'm going to be at home, so I'm going to be able to show you what my art studio at home looks like, take you out of the classroom, and show you what a real artist does at home and how they express themselves in their lives. What I do in the classroom is not the same thing that I do at home. There's things in my life that are personal that I take those things and I make them come alive in my art studio at my house. So I'm kind of looking forward to showing you that part of my life and um, I think it might help you get through your time at home sitting there if you can see me in my home going through the same thing. So Stay tuned for what's coming, but until then, you have homework from your art teacher to listen to music, to focus on the lyrics, and focus on particular lyrics in your songs that stand out to you and evoke emotion, inspire you um, to listen to them over and over and over again. All right? I miss you guys a lot. Um, made me start crying, but I miss you guys and I love you and I can't wait to see what this change brings to your artwork. Okay. So until later, see ya.